Hi, this is Nicole from This Moment is Good, blogspot.com. Um, I'm here to show you um, the second video on what I call the Melinda plaid hat pattern. Um, and I wanted to show you in this video how um, these vertical lines are being done, coming down. The horizontal lines going this way, whoops, going this way, are done within the pattern but these vertical down are done using a needle and thread but this is what the finished hat ends up looking like um, it has a really cool looking plaid um, I'll put it down on the table so you can see it a little bit better bear with me a minute I'm going to try to get over top of it so you can see it a little bit better. So this is the plaid pattern that this pattern makes. Um, it's, it's really pretty and it definitely looks like plaid. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these vertical stripes or stitches actually and um, that hopefully I'll be able to so I'm here I'm gonna do this no actually I'm gonna be moving over I did this section now I made a knot at right here and I'll weave in that end or I'll start um, as I go in and out um, burying that underneath my my new stitches so what you want to do is you want to stay, go under either the pearls and over the knits or over the pearls and under the knits. All right, so here I'm going over the knits because I want to have my line go across the white or cream colored horizontal line that I already have. So... I'm staying within the middle of the more colorful blocks. And then I would skip this pearl bump, the bumps. I'll pull that up and I'll just tuck that through so it grabs it. go within the nets and come up I'm going to try to do this pretty fast so that um, I can show you how I go across to the next um, segment because I don't want to have to weave in so many ends so I take it across as opposed to making a knot at the end. I do secure it though at the top and the bottom. Oops. Okay, I'm at the top now. I've done my straight line. I might actually take that out and rebury it. Um, I don't like the way that came together. So now I want to go to this section over here. You see, I did this section. Now I want to get over here. So the way I do that is I go... First, I go to the top, and I kind of go through twice in one section to kind of secure that so that this area doesn't get pulled on when the, when the hat stretches in and out. And then basically, I just keep kind of doing somewhat of a whip stitch so that it can remain stretchable. You don't want to go straight across because you won't get that bounce. When you're putting the hat on and off. So you just want to whip stitch to the next 
section where you want to do the the next vertical line and once you're in the center of that then you can start your stitches back downward after you secure like that at the top and then you can do the same thing except you're going to be going down and then you can go across to your final section or whatever section you're on i only have two more sections left but basically that's what it'll look like when you get it done i put a medium size pom-pom up top and um because i didn't want it to be too big because this is kind of like um a cloche a cloche that meets the ski cap kind of hat Okay, well, thank you. Have a great night.